Hey, babe. I almost got married today. Okay, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I mean, somewhat kidding. I don't know, it's hard to explain. So I just want to explain it. That's all I'm going to say. 15 second video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the last video, but I met this girl on Tinder the other... Yeah, of course. It was, it was the girl that I asked, hey, did you used to be a guy? <laughs> I still can't believe I asked that and it didn't completely backfire on me. It still blows my mind. Anyway, um, you know, we spoke a bit beforehand and then she came over and, you know, things went well and, you know, we ended up in bed and then after two hours she left and I'm like, wow, that was the like, quickest it's ever been. Like, it's never been that easy or that quick to, like, get to bed. And it was definitely fun. We really had fun and connected, but it's more like after. So the day after, well, that same day and then the day after that and then also partially today. Um, we just kept talking and getting to know each other better and we realized like, okay, we actually like each other. Like there might be something here more than just physical. And I forget how it came up. Oh yeah, I think it was like the more we got to know each other and got along and everything, it was like, ah, oh, we're like the perfect pair. So I'm like, oh, I should ask you to marry me as a joke. And it kind of like became a recurring thing. So we kept like making jokes and comments about that. So at some point... I'm like, oh, like we're just talking like back and forth and I forget exactly how it came up, but it's like, oh, what kind of like ring do you want? I'm like, onion ring as a joke. She's like, oh no, I hate onions. So I'm like, okay, what kind of ring? And then she sends me a picture of like those ring pops, like the candy that you put in your finger and then you suck. And I'm just like, oh, I was thinking that exact same thing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll go buy you one of those and then we'll get quote unquote married. So obviously not a real ceremony, which is why, you know, I was saying that in the beginning of the video. I was like, oh, I almost got married, but not really. <laughs> so technically, yes, I almost did. And I say almost because the plan was for her to stop by today on her way to work, on her way to work, just because I'm leaving tomorrow morning and this is going to be her last chance to see each other before I come back. And we'll get to that soon enough. So we were only going to have like an hour or two together. So it's like, oh, okay, just enough time to get married. So, you know, fake. I mean, I don't know. I, th I think we probably would have gone for it just like, just for the fun of it. Like, I don't know. It seems kind of a little ridiculous and funny and out there. It's like some people are like, oh, no, like you can't joke around and stuff like that. It's too serious or whatever. It's like, we're just having fun. Okay. We don't know what it's going to lead to. But it just, it feels right. The whole point of this, I'm going this adventure, is to experience new things, to not hold myself back. And at the moment, this feels right. Obviously, I wouldn't actually ask her to marry me now. That would be insane. I don't know her. But this fake ceremony could have been fun. So anyway, I have the rings. In fact, they're right over there. <laughs> Fancy, right? Ooh. <laughs> uh, anyway. So the plan was for her to stop by today on her way to work, have the wedding, potentially the honeymoon after if we had time. And unfortunately, yesterday she had to uh, leave work early because she wasn't feeling well. She had like fever and the chills and like stomach and backache and stuff like that. So she went home. This morning she's still feeling out of it. She's like, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, get a COVID test to make sure everything is fine. And of course, because of that, we can't see each other before I leave, which sucks, which is why I didn't get married and I almost got married. Now, of course, it wasn't a real wedding, but still, you know, it's, it makes for a good video title. You know, I almost got married. People are like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, then again, it's not like many people watch it at this point. And it's not really for people to watch. It's for you to show you the journey that I'm going on. And at the moment... This is what I'm doing. For all I know, you're the girl that I'm about to marry. You know? <laughs> well, about. The wedding has been postponed because of the current situation. So anyway, that's part of the story. The other new development is that I decided because partly I met her and we seem to get along and everything. I'm like, oh, I want to see her again. Maybe see where this could go. I don't know. So I'm thinking of, I was thinking of coming back after I went to Samuk Champagne and to Tikal. 
So I was thinking like, okay, right, maybe come back in two weeks, maybe rent an apartment. It's like, I mentioned that in the last video. But yesterday I decided, you know what? This feels right, so let's just do it. So yesterday I went on Airbnb, rented out the apartment for a month. So from the 15th of February to the 15th of March, I'm going to be staying here. Which So the reasons why I'm doing this, there's multiple. First of all is to get to know this girl better to see if potentially there's something there. And if not, Guatemala City is a very good place for online dating, at least for a gringo like myself. Because down here I'm exotic. Up in Canada, there's like a million of me. And I'm not really that... I don't really stand out from the crowd, if you will. Whereas here, I do. So, it's pretty easy for that. So, anyway, that's one of the potential reasons. Another reason of the reason is because I met someone... I think I mentioned it in one of Marie's videos, but... I met someone in one of the hostels who would pretty much just sit around for multiple hours each day and talk to people about random stuff on his computer. So one day I asked him, like, hey, what do you do? And he's like, oh, I'm a conversational English speaker, uh, English teacher. So basically what he does is gets paid to just have conversations with people. And for me, I'm like, oh, wow, that's exactly what I wanted to do because that's what I didn't like about coaching. It was the structure, the expectations, the fact that, oh, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to get that that result. Whereas this is just like, no, let's sit down and talk. So it's kind of just partly, you know, coaching, it's partly motivational speaking, partly just conversation, getting to know people. And I seem to be quite good at talking because I've practiced that skill a lot and a lot, even though it didn't come natural. So anyway, I want to set that up, but I'm like, to do that, I need a more stable schedule. So this is the perfect opportunity. Stay here for a month. I can set that up. In the beginning, I'm going to charge less and I'm going to have like probably longer hours because of that. And then slowly get reviews, build up the things and slowly increase the price. So by hopefully by the end of the month, I can be up in the like, let's say $15, $20 an hour US range. And if I'm at that point, then after that, I can easily travel and all my expenses, including food, lodging and travel will be covered by that. And all I have to do is work four to five hours a day. So that's kind of the plan. Also, I started learning Spanish, um, started using Duolingo because my friend, my friend Renee is like, oh, you should really use it. I'm using that to learn Greek because his, his wife, oh, I'm still not used to saying wife. Anyway, his wife is Greek. So he's starting to learn Greece, uh, Greek because they're going in Greece next year to, even though they already got married, they're doing the official ceremony over there. So he's like, it's really good. You should try it. So I started using it. I'm like, yeah, okay, it's really good. And I even got the pro version just because that way it makes it easier. And also because I committed money to it, it's going to motivate me to learn, to use it way more and to learn faster. So that's another reason. So I'm doing this. So in two weeks, I'm going to come back here and stay here for a month for, to see what could happen with that girl, potentially dating. We'll see and set up the business for conversational English and then learning Spanish. So that seems like a really kind of a break at the same time from all this travel because the last, well, now it's been a month, well, today, tomorrow, technically. So it's been a month and I've just been moving around so much, doing so many things, meeting so many people, and it's been awesome. But I feel like this is going to be good. Set up like, take a little break, set up a system so that I can keep doing this if I want to. I don't know what it's going to lead to, but at least having the knowledge that, okay, I'm not slowly going broke. I can make this a lifestyle if I want to. That's going to be really good. So that's what I decided to do. And even though, yeah, I know the title was clickbaity <laughs> when I started the video, but at the same time, it's true. I almost did get married and I will get, you know, married when I come back. And it's just, I don't know, it's a fun way to get to know someone and to have fun, to enjoy and to really... I don't know, live life to the fullest. Because even though I don't know what this is going to lead to, because I really don't know her that well yet. We've known each other, counting today, three days. And we've been physically together for two hours. So I have no clue where this is going to lead. But this feels like a fun way to do it. So I'm just going to go with the flow, do what feels right, and have fun. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all the updates. Next video is probably going to be filmed in Samuk Champagne because I'm leaving here tomorrow morning very early. So I'm very, I'm excited. I'm both excited to leave and to go see, you know, all those things. And at the same time, excited to come back and to spend time with this girl and potentially see where it leads. 
And I know there's a potential chance that we'll realize it's not a good match. By the time I come back, I'm like, I already have the apartment. I'm stuck here. But you know what? If that's meant to happen, it's going to happen. Just with the same thing that had happened with the other girl that I was supposed to go on a trip with. She got a job. Her grandmother got like injured and she had to take care of her. So we saw each other once and we're not going to be on a trip. And that was planned. So this is the same thing. It's like I have this plan, but I have no clue what's going to happen. I'm just going with the flow, doing what feels right inside, and at the moment, that's what feels right. All right. Back to work, and by work, I mean uploading all the videos that I shot at the zoo a couple days ago. It's been two days, and I still haven't done it. Like, I started this morning, and there's still, I don't know, 20, 30 of them left to upload. And it doesn't take that long to upload. It's just because there's so many. I have to go through the process so many times. So that is pretty much my day today. Anyway, thanks for being here. Look forward to seeing you. Check back in later. And I tried pressing the button and it didn't work. Second shot.